Good evening. I'm your host for the MMSDC Post Gala Awards, Katrina Turnbow, and I am so honored to have two of our very special guests and of course award winners, not only in one category that they tie, but in addition to that, they're also double award winners from a corporate standpoint. So as I introduce myself and conduct this wonderful interview, and I'm so excited because I get a chance to spend a lot of time at MMSDC, and these are two women that I've had an opportunity to learn from personally and see the hard work that they put in. So number one, let's talk about that wonder, wonderful Advocate of the Year Award, Brenda and KV. So let's go ahead and introduce yourself first and foremost. Who are you? My name is Brenda Marshall, and I am the principal and general uh, practice leader for diversity and inclusion at Kelly Services. I'm KV Lennon with Herman Miller. I'm the Senior Supplier Diversity Manager. So from both of you guys' standpoint, tell us a little bit of what does it mean to be the Corporate Advocate of the Year Award? What does this award mean to you? For me, being Corporate Advocate of the Year is an honor and it's a privilege because it's our peers and our colleagues recognizing what we do every day, trying to make a difference and building bridges to doorways of opportunity so that all organizations, minority businesses, small businesses, women-owned businesses, can compete effectively and win. So it's quite an honor that to receive that recognition. I, I echo that. I'm truly honored to sit beside Brenda, who has been doing this numerous more years than I have. And I'm just truly honored that my peers had recognized the work that we've been doing on the West Side, because we truly want to build a one MMSDC and really advocate and bring corporates up on board on the west side of the state and also utilizing the MBEs on the other side of the state. So my work is really trying to figure out how do we expand the work that we've been so successful on the east side of the state to the west side of the state. So I'm truly honored for that opportunity and being the advocate of the year. So if either of you could give some advice about becoming the advocate of the year, even though you definitely don't go into this role or position, expecting to get an award, but it's always nice to be acknowledged. When you're doing this work and you have this opportunity to take a moment and reflect and the community rewards you with your efforts, if you could suggest to potential corporate members who actually would love to be a member of this group of winning this award, what would you suggest to them in order to you know, possibly qualify or just make sure that they have a great opportunity to re receive such a prestigious honor? Well, first of all, as you said, we don't do the work we do for recognition, um, and yet it's all, it feels good and it's very heartfelt, heartwarming when you are recognized for your efforts. But what I would say is that understand it's a journey, and that as KV said, I've been doing this for a minute, just a little bit, uh, <laughs> for about 15 years, but what I have learned in every year that I, I go to work, every day I go to work and every year, I realize while there's a lot that has been accomplished, there's so much more to do. And so what I would say is don't get discouraged, do it for the right reasons, and know that you are making a difference and it only takes one. If you can provide opportunities to open a pathway for one company to be able to shine and be able to showcase their capabilities, then it's well worth it and your day will come. Your day will definitely come and just be patient and continue to stay the course and know that it is a journey and that you are making a difference every single day. Stick to your passion. I mean, I'm very passionate with the work that I do and connecting MBEs with corporations, even with MBEs to MBEs. I think that we're truly passionate in the work we do. I believe all my colleagues have the same passion as I do to giving that equal opportunity for MBEs to giving them that chance to speak with the procurement team or showcase their strength and showcase what they could t bring to the table. I think that's a win. And, and I do that every day and trying to get new MBEs in front of potential clients and I do it because I'm passionate about it and believe in the work that I do. Well, we'll ask you both one final question as it relates to the wonderful companies that you work for. Of course, again, winning Corporation of the Year in each of your categories. So could you tell us a little something that's unique about maybe the spend or how, you, how your companies actually work with MBEs that helped you gain this uh, recognition for your company overall? For Kelly Services, we've been at uh, Diversity 
and inclusion, and particularly supplier diversity for many years. But what we have learned is that our suppliers are our partners. They're not suppliers, they're not vendors in our supply base, they are actually our partners. And what our responsibility is to make sure that all of our suppliers, particularly our diverse companies, um, have an opportunity as our MBEs to be able to compete, to be able to have the resources they need, not just engage them for a contract, but to make sure that they're sustainable long term and that we focus on the development. The foundation of everything we do is making sure those suppliers have everything they need within Kelly's scope, within our processes that they can navigate and they can compete and showcase and have every opportunity to perform. And if I could say this, it's not about the awards because we're winning every day, right? But what I would say, what I'm most proud of is that we have our uh, Supplier Excellence Awards that Kelly does, and we recognize all of our top performing suppliers, diverse and non-diverse. And in the last year, five, six years since we've been doing this award, where we combined all the suppliers, um, our diverse suppliers, 80% of our award winners have been diverse companies, minority businesses. And what that says, not only to Kelly's services and our leadership, but what it says to the world is that not only can minority businesses compete, they're winning because they're outperforming in performance, quality, delivery, service, and cost competitiveness. And so I'm most proud and I feel honored to be able to work with some of the most brilliant minds and best companies in the world with our MBEs. Wow, we have similar activities. Herman Miller have had our supplier diversity program for 28 years now. Over the years, we were single digit. Probably in the last 10 years, we're at double digits. We're close to as inclusive supply chain, we're at 18%. Um, our suppliers are our partners. They, I mean, some of our diverse suppliers have been with us for 30 years. And you talk about awards, right? We give awards to all of our supply chain. We don't point out their MBEs or WBEs. We're, we want them to uh, compete at an even playground. And, uh, you know, to your point, we awarded our supplier excellence. Probably out of six of the ten were diverse owned businesses. So you're right. They're competitive. They're cost effective. They're here to stay for a long term. And it's, it's part of the economic impact in the West region. The more that we hire diverse owned business, they're going to hire more diverse folks to work for them. And the more that they would be able to expand their business and their footprint. So I'm very proud that Herman Miller has this part of their core values. Well, that is awesome, ladies. Thank you so much for taking a moment out of your wonderful evening um, after you are definitely celebrating to sit down and talk with MMSDC and give us your insight and feedback. So we hope you enjoy your evening, and we look forward to seeing you next year, too.